What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Rhino Rack J-Style Kayak Carrier Kit with extension arm, which means you're gonna be able to hold two kayaks on here now on our 2017 Kia Forte 5. The nice thing about this being a kit is that if you already have the Kayak Carrier, the J-Style one, you can just get the arms and add it to it and it'll work together. If you need everything, you can buy the kit and you'll get both of them included. Now one of the reasons this kit is so great is you can see on the smaller vehicle with the smaller bars, both those kayaks fit right next to each other. Normally if you had two different J-style kayak carriers on there, they'd have to be spread out a little bit more because they're going to lean in and that's going to take up most of the, if not all of the space on your bars. We measured it out and in total it only takes up 30 inches of space on these crossbars. So these are again a little bit smaller bars but still leaves all the side open for a cargo box or a cargo basket or even a bike if you want to throw it up there. Now if these were bigger on like an SUV that'd be even more space that you had to work with with accessories. But also keep in mind don't exceed your weight rating on your roof. The only really alternative to this style would be getting two different J-style kayak carriers. Now, you're gonna need more space on the roof. It's gonna take up more like we talked about, but if you had a truck or a bigger SUV, that might be the better way to go just for loading purposes. This one, it's pretty easy to lift up that kayak and reach across the roof to put it there, but if it was higher up, it'd be harder to get to the middle, especially if it's spaced out like that. So it might be better in that instance just to go ahead and put a J-style kayak carrier on each edge of the rails so it's easier to get to and hold and you have that space in the middle. When it comes with the smaller cars or the crossovers or if you just don't have that big of bars on top, I think this is the way to go. It saves a bunch of space and still hauls two of those kayaks, leaving you all those options on the other side. One thing I was worried about is because the kayaks are so close together, it might sacrifice stability. Now we took it out in the parking lot and drove around and got some GoPro. I can tell you that's not an issue. I can shake the whole car back and forth. You see the rack isn't moving at all here. There's no movement or rattling. I can even shake it by the kayak. So that just shows you this is pulled down nice and tight too. It's got two points of contact. Sometimes they don't fit all the way down in the cradles on these J-Style, but you have this padded area here that the kayak is making contact with and then here on the back side too. So that helps when you pull those straps down, it's gonna pull down on those contact points and hold it there nice and tight. Another good thing about this being a kit is it comes with all the straps you're going to need to tie down your kayaks. It's better than some of the other kayak carriers you get that come with rope instead and you have to tie a knot. That can be a pain. I don't want to do that. I like these. They're far easier just to run that strap through, pull it tight, it stays tight, and it has all the ones you're going to need to tie down your kayaks. The only thing it's not going to come with is it's not going to come with the anchors in the hood here. And I recommend getting those as well because you'll put the padded part down in under the hood, slam the hood on it, and it has these loops now that you can attach to that your vehicle didn't have up front before. Something else to keep in mind is that the kayak carriers can handle up to 165 pounds. So keep that in mind when you're throwing those kayaks up there. But another thing to think about is if you add a cargo carrier on the other side or a box and you start loading that up, make sure you don't exceed that weight capacity on your bars or your roof. With the kayak removed, we can get a better look at the kayak carrier itself. You can see the black powder coat tubing that is the base of it. And you can see the paddings that go on those tubes. This is what I was talking about with those contact points where the kayak hits. You can kind of see the indentions on them. You can definitely see up there, that's where it's pushing against there. We're gonna tie it down. So those are really nice too. They're gonna to help just act as a padding and they're pretty solid. So most of the time we see these in use, you don't see these all ripped up because it's not just foam pads there that rip really easy when they get wet. They have a coating on them. So they're meant to be in the elements and when you throw a wet kayak up there, it's not gonna bother it. One of the best parts of a folding J style carrier is that it folds down. So that way you don't have to have them upright like this all the time. You just pull these levers on the side, pull it down and out of the way and you don't have to remove it when you're not using it all the time. That's good for like garage clearance. If you have a taller vehicle that has less space in the garage or a shorter garage, you can fold these down and not have to take them off every single time you go to use them. 
The other thing I like about these is they install really easily. You don't need tools, and that's always good when you're already climbing up to work on the roof. Now this vehicle is shorter, so it's not much like I'm not saying the door jam, but on those taller vehicles, you don't want to climb up there and set tools on the roof. So this is going to be easy with these hand knobs. You can just undo them, and that loosens those up, and then you can just take one off and move the plate down into the side, and it'll be able to easily take it off there. And when you go to tighten it up, same thing, just tighten them evenly with your hands and then just do a good shake test when you're done to make sure it's on there nice and tight. So as I tighten it down, I can shake. You see there's no movement here whatsoever, so it's pretty good and tight. One thing we also notice is that you want a couple of inches of space between the extension arm and the kayak carrier. That's what worked best for us. Now let's go ahead and load up a kayak. They suggest that you do the far side first, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to put this up and set it on our basket. You can go ahead and set it up on the rails if you don't have a basket on there. So I'm just going to grab the kayak, go up, kind of going by feel here to where I hit the edge, and I can push it up onto the basket. And that's going to help me hold that kayak just like the rails would in place so that I can hop up here in the door frame and continue on. So now I'm up here, I can focus on bringing the kayak back towards me as I get it towards that cradle there. Kind of slide it into place. Rest it there so I can get, climb up just a little bit more. And then Use the leverage to slide into place. So I need to use this hand here, pull it up, and slide it over. I'm gonna adjust it from there. Now I was going slow, just trying to be careful. Now, the way you probably wanna do that is if you are loading up for your adventure and you don't always have this cargo basket up there, I would put the kayak up first and then our cargo basket, but just in case you have one there all the time, I wanted to show the struggle of what it'd be like if you had to go around this. It did help hold it, but the bars would do the same. It would be more level. I would have been able to get in there in a better reach and over. This was kind of like digging into my ribs, but it wasn't that bad to get that up there. I was just being extra careful and going slow so I didn't drop the kayak on the roof or anything. Now it's time to strap it down. So what I'm gonna do is take the strap, throw it to the other side, leave the buckle here on this side of the kayak. So now we're gonna come back on this side. I'm gonna run the strap behind the kayak. So I'm just gonna push it forward just a little bit to get the strap to go through there and run around this bar here at the top. So just like that. And then pull it through and throw it back over. Make sure you adjust it, make sure it's not twisted up on you. And now we'll go back to the other side. Now back on this side, what we're gonna do is take the strap we just threw back over and we're gonna go underneath our roof bars. So we go under there. Again, make sure it doesn't twist up on you. And as I bring it down around there, and bring it up and run it back through the buckle. As I pull down on it, you see how tight it gets. I think that should be good right there. It's got a nice hold. I'm gonna repeat this process on the other side after we tie up the rest of our strap. It's got a hook and loop fastener on there that helps you tie up all your straps and that's on all these different ones. So that's just a nice added feature. So you don't have to just like tighten a knot around the strap itself. It's got a holder built in. So now we're gonna tie down the bound stern of our kayak. So we're gonna take these blue straps. These are for the front and the back. Gonna run those through. 
I'm going to run enough here so the buckle's up. So you definitely don't want that coming down and hitting your windshield or anything. But with that up and out of the way, I can take the strap and go to that side of the hood to where our tie down points in. Remember, we got the hood anchors in there. So the reason why we're coming over to this side is you don't want to put it on the driver's side because that'd be covering up your view as the driver and you don't want that. So bring it in here, run it through the anchor loop. That's our tie down point here on the hood. And I'll throw the strap back over there and tighten it down. And we're going to do the same thing on the back side. There we go. Yeah, nice and tight. A little bit more. I think that's good right there. And now we can just tie up our extra strap. Next step is before you add the second kayak carrier, it's far easier to add in your paddles. So just put them in place in those cradles and then pull the strap over there into place. Another good tip is to go ahead and run your straps before you add that second kayak. It's just going to make it easier on you. So we'll get this into place. And another thing to do then, once you've run that, is pull them even. Keep them tight, even like this. And then we're going to walk it over here and tuck it behind the paddle and just kind of set it on the windshield. That way when we get the kayak into place, you can just whip them around and get it done way quicker. All right, so now that the kayak's up there, I'm gonna bring this around to the front. Try and get it in line right there. And then what we're gonna do is even this out. So just kind of pull. It might be a little tangled up, so you might have to mess with it just a little bit. Don't pull too hard, but there we go. Got through that knot. Now it's about right where we want it. So I'll climb up there. What I want to do first down here is run the strap down and under the crossbar. Then we'll go back up towards the buckle. So I'm going to try and adjust that. Looks like it's got a little bit of a tangle. And then we get down here. There we go. I'm going to flip that around. Run through the buckle. There we go. Now I can adjust it and get it tight. Once you get those straps tightened down, you're done. It doesn't take that long. It can seem a little complicated to those kayaks up there, but it really isn't that bad. This kit makes it really easy, especially I like that it maximizes the roof space on your roof bars. You know, if we didn't have it this way, like we said earlier, and had two separate J carriers and had it separated like that, we wouldn't have room for the basket on the other side. So, especially if you have a vehicle like this with the roof bars like this, the shorter ones, this is gonna maximize that space. I think it's gonna be really helpful. Plus, this is really easy to install and take off from not using it and even folds down. So you don't even have to take it off anymore. So it's kind of like one and done, and then you can just leave it up there. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.